This is Daniel Powell. Be going into what I've learned from my favorite nightmare. Though, to preface this story, it is important to know that I read about these guys well, in this book called uh, The Code of an Extraordinary Mind. The author is with a group of people who hook their brains up to a machine to tell when their brains are producing alpha waves and they found out that when they uh, were thinking of people who have caused them great harm and the author had this guy previously who was just out to ruin this guy's life for no good reason and he was thinking of them as a naive child you know, that just doesn't know any better and that and by forgiving someone who's caused you great harm, they, everyone noticed that that's when their brain started pr to produce great amount of alpha waves. And a while after I read that, I had a dream where I was with a group of people and we walk into this place. We see this guy up in a control room that looks like the Saw dude. And he closed the doors behind us. It was, yeah, it was a control room and opens up this door that with all these like crazy they're like imagine with like the body of a centaur massive spider legs with black boiled skin and for the head they had no eyes skeleton nose and a bunch of sharp teeth there was just a bunch of these things just running everywhere and all the lights go off, it's pitch black, and the crowd that I'm with just splits up, and you just hear all these people screaming, being ripped to shreds, uh, just all around, and then the dream asks, why are, they ki why are the monsters killing everyone? And then right in front of my face, one replies, They're not your children! And, like, as he says that, there's some really powerful, scary music going on in the dream that's, like, you feel with your soul. It's intense. And I just start booking it. And I somehow just know to dive. And I fall into this hole, pull over a mattress over myself. And it's one of the very few dreams where... <laughs> When you go hide from a monster and they don't find you. Usually like when you hide, they always know where you are. <laughs> though, though, uh, really quick though, I did have another dream where I, I hit up in a tree and I watched where they went. And that dream was an exception to living too. Though anyway, uh, yeah, so then the dream was like, said, <laughs> Even the devil says it is better that you survive this night. Which I don't fully understand yet. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they're not our children. That's the message of the Muslims. Which, you know, it's, uh, which uh, also to understand the dream. It's important to know that everything you dream, at least, is typically an aspect of your own subconscious. So these monsters are a part of my subconscious that must be a part of myself that wasn't caring for people on a personal level. Yeah, like they're not, yeah, they're not my children. I can just, you know, not care as much. <laughs> and yeah, let things slide. And yeah, I mean, to apply that, it's tricky to always look at someone as a naive child. As a naive child, we feel like they should know better, which, you know, um, it's not necessarily true. You think about how, like, a plant never is purposely wanting to destroy itself or not grow as well. People are the same. If we really do know what's best for us, we want to grow, or yeah, we prefer to grow better, feel good. Everybody wants to feel good, and, and if people realize when they do harm to others, 
they're causing themselves future pain, they wouldn't be doing it. Though, yeah, easier said than done, of course, though practice makes perfect. And please help other people uh, see this by liking and stay updated on all my stuff by subscribing. Thank you and have a great night.